Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can make simple snow bases for your miniatures. My name is Leif and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel called Devs and Dice. Today I'm going to walk you through how you can do a simple snow base for your miniatures, be it D&D, Frostgrave, Warhammer, or Warcry. Alright, so I'm going to use two pre-painted miniatures from WizKids. First things first, Battlefield Basing Glue. I'm gonna spread this out using that same old crappy hobby brush that's been through hell. And now I'm taking some of that brown battleground basing just to sort of get, well, a base to it. Uh, run your finger alongside the rim just to make sure that none of those pebbles get stuck there. Then I'm going to come in with some battlefield rocks and now for the Yeti here, I'm going to come in with quite a lot of that glue because I want it to be quite a lot of these uh, rocks. I want to sort of make it more, I guess, you know, glacier like with the snow. So you have to think about those aspects a little bit. This is uh, the modeling stage, so to speak. Now for the direwolf, I went much more uh, subtle. I'm going to use some water uh, to dilute uh, the glue in a blister pack that I had, and I'm going to cover the entire base with that. As usual, I'm using mid-tone and strong-tone washes from Army Painter just to sort of darken down the base and get some nice character there. For tufts, I'm using winter tufts, frozen tufts, and highland tufts. Mixing these up will always create the best results I find. So once the base is dried, I come back in with some of that white glue, I choose a couple of good locations, and then I basically place them there. You've seen me do this before. So like I said, variation is key, I find it. So try to keep them separate, try to clump them up, anything you can do to make it varied and use different types of tufts. It gives the best results. So at this point, we pretty much have a normal basing. Now we're coming in with some white glue, some snow flock from Army Painter, and some iridescent uh, medium from Liquitex. I put the snow flock into a small container, pour in a bunch of white glue. Um, I can't really tell you a recipe. You're just going to have to sort of feel your way through it, and I don't think it's that sensitive. Then I just mix everything up until you get a nice sort of slush. Now this slush, you use that poor old hobby brush again, and you just go to town with it. Now my thinking was that for the Dire Wolf space, I wanted to do it a little bit less snowy, so to speak, more perhaps like a tundra or something like that. But I find it very important to uh, hit the, the, the tufts just so they actually blend into the scenery. And here you can see that I'm even going as far as to put some on the characters, just so that it looks like they are part of the same environment. And finally, sprinkle some of that snow flock just to get those nice granular grains out again. Let's have a look at the final results, shall we? 